And then what do you what do you identify as now in terms of culturally? Two hundred percent. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> but like there actually is this Facebook group um, called Subtle Mixed Traits. I think it was like after Subtle Asian Traits like popped off. It, yeah. It popped up. And there was someone who was like making all these memes like, oh, I'm not 50 of each. I'm 100 of each. I'm 300%. <laughs> and like, I guess in a way it's like, oh yeah, like that's true. Like I don't, I think when I was younger, I really struggled with my identity in the sense that like, I was like, if I liked anime or if I was watching K-dramas or listening to K-pop or like, you know, taking Chinese lessons, le- ch- oh my God, Chinese lessons and, you know, really connecting with that side, I was worried like, oh my God am I trying too hard? Because that was the sort of things that I was hearing from people around me in my school. But then on the flip side, when I started hanging out with like Western people and like, you know, it was very different. You'd like party, you'd go out a lot. It it was like, it was so, so different. And then all of a sudden it was like, am I trying too hard to be Western now? And honestly, I feel like the best way I've overcome that is to just realize that at the end of the day, it's both, And it's such a wonderful thing to be able to grow up in a multicultural background and to have different understandings and ideas of different cultures and to be able to embrace that, I guess. Yeah. So I don't know, both. It's definitely, mm, I was kind of saying this to you earlier, like it's definitely a bit of a struggle um, when you're navigating it. And for a long time, I really felt like I was between two lines and I, yeah. I didn't know where I fit, but I think I was just trying so hard to fit in that I, that like, in like rather than like, if I could go back in time, I would probably tell myself, stop trying to fit in. <laughs> like rather than picking one side, why don't you just create your own side, which is your own little bubble yeah, and just embrace both, both of them. Yeah. Cause I mean, just looking at you, your surname would have probably thrown a spanner in the works too, that you have a white surname. Mm. Um, yeah. In terms of how you identify as culturally. 